give me a clap. It's fishing opener in Minnesota today, but it doesn't matter to us at Shore Lunch because we love to fish for shit fish. And we're here for one of my favorites today, the elusive sucker. The water's high, my shorts are short, and I feel very good. We're gonna make a beautiful Korean-inspired fried chicken sandwich. Join us, won't you, on another episode of Shore Lunch with Nate P. Here we are at a suburban creek that flows into the Mississippi River. It's spawning time, all kinds of fish in this tributary here. Suckers, carp, sheephead, smallmouth bass. Fish have been jumping all morning. I am itching to get at it. Time for a rig rundown. Here it is. It's the rig we got at Kathy's. It's all set up. Got the little hook we bought at Kathy's. Got some split shots, some leadless. We got our line. We're gonna slap on a worm ski and we're gonna dump her out there. Look at this too. The park was nice enough to put us a bench right at the water's edge. Worm, just like usual. Nothing fancy here. Doing a half worm, you know this. Really handsome worms. So we're gonna cast where this slack water kind of ends and before the current seam over there, we're gonna put it out there where the little bit of drop off is. There we go. I had a bite right away. Nope. Damn it. I got an instant strike. There's fish down there, all right. Holy shit, come look at this worm. Somebody came and just chomped the shit out of it. Wonder what that was. Fish on. It's either a fish or a snag. It's fighting like a stick. Jeez can't keep them off. And look at this. Worm's gone again. So usually I hook my worm one time. I'm gonna hook it a couple times today. Paul, party foam. You know about party foam, right? Mm -mm. Oh, geez. If I had enough of that, could I rave inside of it? Huh. Where do you think they get it for those things? That foam gets harvested and used in dance parties all around the world. Cast number 14. There we go. Come on now. What kind of stick you suppose this is? Leave that in the comments, eh? That's no stick, that's a log. This is the one, I f look at this. I think this is the one. I might not be the best fisherman, but I can cast. Ooh, I can cast. Oh, oh geez, a big grimple out there. Getting out there a little farther so I can cast her out more. This water's chilly. You know, I had a feeling I'd be doing some wading, so I wanted to wear my shortest shorts. Also, uh, I think this is a fashionable look. What do you think? Maybe leave that in the comments. These are jorts. Yeah, we're going full worm ski here. I feel like Brad Pitt and River runs through it. Is he also wearing jorts? Fish on, baby. Oh yeah. He's going right for those snags over there. Fish on. Let's see what we got, huh? He's swimming right by me here. Oh, it's a catfish, fun. Hey, look what we got here. This is not what I was expecting. Little juvenile channel catfish. You see those spots on him? This is one of my favorite fish. Let's keep fishing, huh? Oh. When you're out in the water, you got nowhere to put your beer? Put it right here like so. Now look at this too. I'm reeling with this hand, holding this hand stable, so I don't shake my beer up too bad. Fish on, oh yeah. Oh, look at carpa. Cool. Oh no, it's not a carp, it's a dang sucker. Just what we were looking for. God, I'm stupid sometimes. Uh, oh, oh, hey. Come here, buddy. Oh, oh, look at this guy. Look at him. I'm gonna grab this guy like so. Take the hook out of his mouth. One of the 17 species of uh, sucker and red horse in Minnesota. Isn't this cool? Oh, 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 oh. Didn't get a kiss. God, that was awesome. Oh, yes. It's fun when you catch the fish that you were looking for. So fishing is all about learning, right? Learning from other fishing folks, learning from your surroundings. Today, what I've learned is that a half crawler wasn't what the fish wanted. They started biting nicely when I put a whole crawler on. If you're not catching fish, change it up a little bit. Move spots. Put on a whole crawler instead of half a crawler. Put on some new jorts. It's hungy bungy time. Join us for lunch. Heat on. Beautiful. 
canola oil. It's a shallow fry, about an inch. We're gonna heat the oil up to 350 degrees. So I got some beautiful chicken thighs here. We're gonna take some of this nice buttermilk. Look at this egg container I got. It's made for an egg. This is gonna be so good. The buttermilk adds an acidic tang to this chicken. I have this dredge here. This is about one cup of flour, one quarter cup of corn starch, salt, pepper, and some gochujaru chili flakes. You take your beautiful little piece of chicken thigh here. We're gonna just give it a little dredge. The buttermilk egg mixture, I'm gonna dump it right in like this. Get them nice and coated right in the mixture. Now we'll just use our hands here and we'll get these guys all covered. So we're gonna make a nice crunchy slaw to go on top of this chicken sandwich. Some red and green cabbage. I'm gonna shred some carrot in there. I think one half of this carrot should be good. I got a little rice vinegar. Not a lot, this is gonna, I want this real fresh. A little bit of hot chili oil, just a couple glugs. I'm gonna put just a squirt of this Kewpie mayo. We'll do a little of this gochujang. This stuff is a flavor bomb. Okay. Hi, Robin. Hi, baby. Who's my little honey, Robin? The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare this English cucumber. Go in here and carve these seeds out. I'm gonna chop these up into biggish sections. Let's say three quarters of an inch. Big, nice, rustic pieces. And then I'm gonna do just a few that are gonna be some little slivers. Can you guess what those are gonna be for? It's gonna be to go on the sandwich. Get rid of any spiders or ants or anything that are in your dishware. We can put these right in here, okay? Gochujang, yeah. chili paste, chili garlic sauce. This stuff is fantastic too. Garlicky, it's spicy. When I cook, I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants, so I would say that's about two tablespoons. What do you think? Maybe you leave that in the comments, you can tell me. I've never made this before, I'm just doing it. We got a little soy sauce. Two tablespoons, I don't know. Put a little of this uh, chili oil in there. Sweet agave. But it... <laughs> Did you get that? You missed. I totally missed. About a teaspoon. Get this nice and stirred up. Now we're gonna do something really fun with these. I'm dumping it out of the bowl, I'm putting in this baggie. We're gonna engage these in a little crushing. Ugh, I'm just smashing them up a little bit. We'll leave these in here. We're gonna take the, uh, the thin slices that we made before. We're gonna toss them here. I'm not gonna crush these. The reason I'm not is because I want these to be a little bit crunchier to go on the sandwich. Is buttermilk best stored in full sun? That's the only place to store buttermilk. We're a little hot, but that's gonna go down when I put the chicken in, okay, because the chicken's cold. You jingle it off a little bit. We'll do one more here. Ugh. Oh, I'd say we're damn perfect almost. Turn it down a little bit. 12 minutes approximately. So, what is that in beers? One and a half, check it out. Chicken hand, beer hand. We're getting there. This is the wine we're gonna be having for lunch today. It's an orange wine, uh, and I wanna chill it a little bit. So we'll use our, uh, we'll use nature's chilling device. Is that beautiful or what? Quick pull them out, shake off any of the excess. Okay, salting them, season them. You gotta season them right out of the oil. Papar, now those will sit. The doctor will see you now. Okay, I'm gonna take these and pour them back into the metal container now, okay? I wanna keep them off to the side so they don't get mixed in with the ones that I'm gonna use as the sandwich toppers. God, look at those. We're gonna make a quick sauce. We're just gonna take a little bit of the gochujang, and then we're gonna get a little bit of this wonderful Kewpie mayo. Mix it up. I'm gonna spread this on the bun right before we plate it. Now it's time we're gonna deal with these buns, okay? Heat on, beautiful. It's a brioche. Watch your hands when you're doing this. Don't get bread hand. I did not bring any butter with. What I did bring is this Kewpie mayonnaise. It's gonna make such a crisp golden bun. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, chicken's done. We're gonna take the bottom of the bun here. Then we're gonna take just a couple of these little cucumber pieces. Now we're gonna take two pieces of the chicken, right? I'm loading the slaw on top of the chicken sandwich. Cukes. Toasted sesame seeds. Chicken sandwich a la Nate, inspired by Korean flavors. I'm so fucking hungry right now, I could kill. It's a roller coaster of crunch. There's crunch from the slaw, 
crunch from the breading on the chicken and crunch from the little cukes that we put underneath. It's spicy, it's savory, and with the sweet bun tying it all together, it might be the greatest chicken sandwich I've ever had in my life. Fork Cam is sponsored today by Cork Dork. Cork Dork is your South Minneapolis stop for wine, spirits, and beers. They have a well-curated selection of wines. This is one that they turned me on to. It's from Italy. It's an orange wine. Here, can we do Fork Cam drink them? Get your ass down to Cork Dork. It's a great shop. Here, no, this is for you. It's a big one, too. Oh. If you think that Fort Cam would represent your brand well, hit us up. We're always looking for sponsors. Mmm, you know what we forgot to put on? You know what you do when you forget the spread? You just pour a little out. We'll do the dippy. I was so hungry bungy I totally forgot. Oh! That spread takes it to the next level. What a day it was. We caught great fish. We made an epic meal. Thank you for joining us. Smash that fucking subscribe button. Wait, I gotta get this, it's so good. When you're done fishing, take your bag that you brought with and go pick up some trash. If we all took five minutes to pick up a couple pieces of trash, our fishing spots would be much better. Whoever this fucking was eating airheads and then leaving it out here? Airheads aren't even good. It's a little hot kid milk flavored drink. This is a dog poop bag. I'll put it in there. Some sort of lid. Put it in the trash there. Catch of the day. It's an underwear band. That feels like a Bush label, does it not? Oh yeah, that's Bush. Yeah, put your trash away, man. <sighs> I'm so scared. I'm lost in the woods and I don't know where Eric went. <sighs> this is what happens when I get to hold the camera.